plug. Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. Smoke weed every day. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Principles. C4, aka C4. Loyalty is priceless. Real life. Yes, sir. Loyalty is priceless. Oh. Shout out to Mercenary Films. Yes, yes. World's Most Smoked Out Podcast. Back at it, brother. We back at it. Ah. All right, so we are b- 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 back. That's a heavy line still. It's the world's most smoked out podcast. We love hip hop. Um, we got a, a, a special, a special edition going on today. Um, before we get into the show itself, though, I want to give a quick shout out to, um, to one of our sponsors here. Shout out to Connect the Dots TV. We got a big showcase that's going to be going on. It's the Connect the Dots TV showcase that's showcase tour, basically. It's starting <coughs> on April 12th in North Bay. There's going to be performances by Kid Daniels, <coughs> Sapphire Soze, Adam Baum, Dre Specs, Mike Guts, and DJ VP, and his main appearance by Mr. Socrates, okay. right? aka Big Socks. Yeah, so there's going to be um, Father performances. Time. Yeah, Mr. Father Time. So there's going to be performances all through the time. So judges are going to pick winners. And then, um, yeah, the last performance and final thing was going to be going down in Toronto, and that's on May 18th. So hit them up at Connect the Dots TV on Instagram and Holla at them and find Yo, the last on. one was lit. I was there. It was yeah, lit. Yeah. They had Black of the Dawn. They had a bag of people there. Oh, yeah. Performing. That was that one. Yo, it was lit. It was lit. Adam Bomb shut down the place. Kid Daniel yeah, did yeah. the same. <coughs> OBM, this other group. Everybody who was on stage did their thing. It was yeah. blessed. Well, you know, like I said, hit up Connect the Dots TV if you want to um, find out how to get tickets and different things like that. And, um, yeah, make your way there. Be there or be square. But let's get to the business at hand. Um, yes, sir. So we got a city. I don't want to say city vet because I feel like vet makes motherfuckers sound old. You know what I'm saying? Even though we are vets. You know what I'm saying? But I want to say like an OG. You know what I mean? Let's go there. Right? Um, we got requests from our comic gang. You know, comic, <coughs> comic gang scrum. You know what I'm saying? Strong and, and And they're saying they want to see, they want to see C4. And I said, you know what? I want to see C4 too. <laughs> Fact, right? So it's popping, man. We here, fam. Yes, yes. 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 So with no further ado, we got C4 in the building, aka Four. Four. All right. Yes, sir. So, as a you know, or an OG, okay. And I'm gonna get right into the questions, right? So as an OG in this new generation, generation, like I see you still connecting with the youths. Like, why do you think that is? At the end of the day, the youths them are the future, right? Mm. So we definitely have to keep them in the loop, man, because. They're the ones that are going to be the next to carry the torch, right? So, mm. and it's only fair, man, if you acknowledge your peers and <clears throat> you see niggas out here doing what's right, it's only fair just to put that spotlight on them too, right? Because yeah. it's kind of hard to shine down here in the city, you know, in a right. sense when it comes to this music shit. But that's basically what it is, man. I'm just showing love to the city, man, just showing the love that they show me, right? Yeah, yeah. And, like, why the name change? Because before it was C4 and now it's 4. Yeah. To be real with you, man, it... It, it it just came about with my with the ad lib how I start off the track right yeah. or how I might end off the track I might hit them with the four or, you know what I mean so yeah. I was just thinking you know what let me just cut that short right mm. and for other other various reasons too but yeah that's what it is though man did you like get flack from like companies and shit like that you ever get What's that you ever get flack from companies for like the sequel, nah nah n- nah not really nah okay. I ain't really get no heat as far as the name yeah yeah At the same time you know what I mean the, the name kind of gives off a bad effect you know what i mean as yeah, far as yeah, trying yeah. to present yourself right too and it doesn't make any it doesn't make it any better that i'm muslim too right mm. so like that whole effect comes in and it's just like <laughs> <laughs> it can get touchy there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's so, a little sticky that's a yeah little so sticky. we just cut, we, we shortened it to four man okay. sounds a lot better too right what was what was sure. rap name before that like before c4 
My rap name? Mm, did yeah. you ever have a rap name before C4? To be real, you not, nah, man. Okay. And, and and it's not like I gave myself my name, right? Mm. Like, that name just came about with me going in the booth and <coughs> me spitting, and, and niggas was just like, damn, dog, you explosive, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's, just, it's, just, it's just hard, right? Yeah. And just niggas knowing me out here in these streets, too, at the same time, right? So it just came about that <coughs> niggas just started calling me C4, right? Okay. So I just ran with it. Mm. But before before the rap shit, nah, that was the only name I ever went by. Okay, okay, and like even like connections, you know what I'm saying? Um, being somebody from the Jane Strip, right? Explain connections to for people outside of Toronto who watch the show and don't, <coughs> and don't understand like the different areas. You know what I'm saying? When you say explaining, what do you mean? Like, like structure? What's the setup? area like? What's what's what what's that whole area like? Um, I always ask, you know, the differences between the east side and the west side and stuff like that, right? But everybody always, and here's the thing, everybody when they say that they're from Toronto when they're not, they're always like, yo, I'm from Dan and Fang still, eh? <laughs> That's the easiest show, though. It's the easiest one, you know what I'm saying? But they've probably never been there, you know what I'm saying? So for somebody who's never been there, explain to them how that, what, what the life is over there. I mean, it's... It, I know it has that stereotype where it's like, you know, you come down there, this is going to happen to you, and this, that, and the third. I mean, it could happen to you, you know what I mean? Especially mm. if you venture off out of your lane, right? But it's just like any other part of the city, man. Like, like there's malls there. You could come shop there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Actually, the prices are hella cheaper over there, too. That's why people don't really leave the ends, right? Mm. And at the same time, it's, it's a community at the same time. Like, it's... I like to say it's a city within a city because, like, everyone knows everyone in Finch, right? Yeah. It don't matter if you're from Connection, if you're from the lane, if you're from up top. Like, my nigga's from Connection, too. He, mm, my day yeah. one from the same building, too, right? Okay, okay. So, everyone I know from Finch, he knows. And everyone that knows me knows him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, that's how it is. We're kind of like a city within our own city, you know what I mean? Bro. That's a that's a good way to describe it in the <clears> Finch area, yeah. No, 100%, man. That's what it is, man. Like, we, we got our own thing going on over there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we kind of set off, like, I don't even want to say that, but a lot of the trends that are going on out here, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. with all this, like, flagging and all these colors and shit, like, that yeah, was kind of coming. Strip. Yeah, that was kind of coming. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. came from the strip. Yeah. Like, the niggas that are out here will tell you that. Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Go back, 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 back. So. Back. But growing up there, man, I wouldn't have wanted to grow up anywhere else, man, to be real with you. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, as far as you, like, as far as my childhood, it was it was love, you know what I mean? Like, we're out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And why did they call it Connections? They call it Connections because basically all the buildings connect. Like, all the buildings can lead to this, like, you could basically go through all the buildings. Mm. And they all connect. Nice. Maybe on one, two of them, like, five near furry, and the back don't really connect. <coughs> but the main ones out there, like... <clears throat> like the grassways, they okay. all connect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's different, different <coughs> ways to get there from the garages to the hallways to the staircases. Okay, so that's why they call it connection. Mm. Okay, and my last, my last James Street question. Okay, being one of the OGs, right? What do you see the difference between like back in the days to the youngins now? Like, I mean, these these youngins are wild now, man. <laughs> And I mean, not to take anything away from them. It's just, it's just the, the era they're growing up in, right? Mm, for sure. And I mean, like they're just, they gotta meet that expectation now. You know These mean? are facts. Kind of like for us when we were coming up, like we kind of <coughs> had <clears throat> niggas that were kind of like outside of our parents. I don't even want to say that. Like, we, you kind of <coughs> had to get the okay before you could do something, right? Mm. You know what I mean, like, but now it's, it's whatever, man. And that's just how it is, man. Yeah. Got no guidance. All the older heads gone. Yeah, that no too, man. That's, mm. that's that too. There's not a lot of OGs out there anymore. Like, everyone ventures off and finds their own route in life, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm. And that's what kind of these young niggas don't understand that. Like, they, they like, live in the hood or they might be around the hood or whatever. And they don't really understand, like, a nigga that's out of the hood. Don't Like, it's not like he don't want to come to the hood or whatever the facts may be. It's just... Niggas are caught up in life. It's just whatever direction it's taking them. Niggas need to meet that, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I respect. So, <coughs> but uh, like I said, man, these young niggas are wild, but they're they're doing their thing, man. Yeah. At the end of the day, man, like, these <coughs> niggas respect. are these niggas are out here making making their money. You know what I'm saying, trying to brand themselves out here, doing shit like they're supposed to be doing. And yeah, you really gotta fuck with that. You know what I mean? 
You know what? I, that brings me to another question. And it's something that I've been wondering for a while. Because, like, you know, especially for men who've been out there and shit like that, back in the days, men used to be able to make cream and whatever, whoever's been out there, right? Do you feel that the young bucks make more money in their, like, a young buck who's, like, 21 compared to, like, us when we were 21? Without a doubt. Yeah, it was a different different grind, different hustle. They're, they're moving the type of... They'll take... It's like they're doing anything for every dollar, you know? Like, every <coughs> risk, they'll take it all. Yeah. And in certain risks, we weren't probably taking in our generation that they're taking in this generation, you know? Like, you yeah. gotta take in the music we were taking in. Yeah, exactly, right? that too. Like, like I, I grew up on Mob Deep, and I grew up on, like, Pac and, and Big. Like, yeah. yeah, them niggas was talking about money, but it wasn't their main fucking... Like focal point when it came to the music, right? No. The young and taking that in, I was more more on that gangster shit. I was more on that yo, we're out here, you know what I'm saying? These yeah. Can't come to the ends and violate, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how it was. Rather now it's like, tch, you ain't got bands, nigga. You ain't you ain't you, you ain't nobody out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. People judge you by your money at the end of the day. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that's what these kids are doing, man. They're going out of their way and they're making sure that they need to fucking get their paper up. Okay. Don't take anything away from them, man. That's what you need to be doing that shit, man. Yeah, because, like, and it it makes me think, because, like, we didn't have money phones and shit like that in our music videos and shit back in the days. But these young motherfuckers, like, it doesn't matter if you're, like, 15. <laughs> you got a money phone. I'm like, where'd you get that from? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, okay. The music. <laughs> Let's get into music stuff. What was the first song that you dropped that you started noticing traction? To be real with you, it was it was it was back when Project Bounce had that the eighty nine point five shit, yes. Project okay. Bounce shit. Yes. And they were used to they used to do the freestyles, right? Mm. Like over the phone. I yeah, remember I that. Remember I used to call yeah, in man. and crush that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I used to call and crush that shit. Stay on there, boom, boom, boom. Then yeah. they, they switched it up, and they did like a. Like a track now. Okay. Like you gotta submit your track and. Yeah, shout out to Nation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah. Right. Shout I out Nation, them. shout out Khalifa. Uh -huh. Shout out all those niggas yeah. that. Yeah, that, that Sticker. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. I submitted a track and it, I don't remember what the song was called, but I submitted the track, right? And it, mm. was, it was on that tragedy beat. Um, fuck is that beat called man? I know it's a tragedy beat anyways I submitted the track and the track stayed on there for like seven weeks okay or something like that that's when I realized like it's more than just a freestyle like I can actually put this shit down on paper right yeah can build a track that was the yeah, time like, you know what I'm saying yeah yeah that was the time okay and that was the time where you're like you're coming your tracks are heavy yeah mm -hmm. there, you have like wow. to the yeah. point like where my own niggas are like damn like we knew you could spit like but freestyle, like but like not put it down with yeah. these fucking punchlines and shit. I to me it was just it was just normal, right? It was, I was mm. just doing my thing. I wasn't yeah. really looking at it like that. Wow. But niggas was hearing that shit, and niggas was just like, "What the fuck?" So they were encouraging me to keep going back to the studio and keep doing this shit, right? Okay. But yeah, that was definitely one of the first tracks. But I'd have to say like it was probably that rap sheet one though, because as far as like when people seen me. Mm. It was, it was that one on Rap Sheet, that's um, the C-O-R-P-S one. Yes, the Corps. Yeah. The Corps. I'm from when niggas take headshots, no need for a vest at BT. Seen how I'm living, they would say it's a mess. The undercovers hit the block, hope to make an arrest. We do the opposite of Usher, cause we'll never confess it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what would be your favorite tracks, like, from, like, all the tracks that you have from before to now? I definitely have to say one of my favorite tracks is Toronto Zoo. Mm. Okay. Yeah, definitely. That's one of my favorite songs. That's because the song meant a lot to me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And at the same time, when I dropped that song, too, I was going through a lot, too, personally, right? When I put that song out, it, it, it drawed a lot of attention for, for them times, right? Yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. times when there wasn't really no social media and shit. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's getting those kind of views. Life is like a movie, I'm feeling like I'm Samuel, no manual, Toronto Zoo, I'm living like an animal. I'll be caged up, caged up, trying to get my pay up. You're stabbing out my money, but I refuse to take the pay cut. You ought to watch your mouth for next day, you may not wake up. And bullets hit your face, and just to fix it, you need makeup. Yeah, 
young YouTube mixed times. Mixed tapes. Yeah, tapes. yeah. Mm-hmm. Niggas are selling mixed CDs and shit. Real yeah. shit. That's how CDs we were putting. That's where we were putting on our our tapes, right? On CDs, pressing them, and going around and just dropping them yep. off in the stores or seeing niggas on road and just hand to hand sales. Exactly. Yeah, mixed tape times. You know what I'm saying? And shout out Rap Sheet them. They definitely like kind of gave us like that that opening to the door as far as like the music scene in Toronto right yeah. that's how we stepped on the scene and everyone was like buzzing towards the man and like <coughs> wanting, you know squatting with the ends and who's for and Ray 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 and Ray 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 so yeah even bringing up like rap shit in those <coughs> times because last week we were we brought up a topic because we were talking about the CP24 20th anniversary and we were talking about real Toronto you know Damn, what I'm saying? <laughs> 20 year anniversary. Right? And as both real Toronto alumni, <laughs> basically, I know what I had to deal with back then. Did you have to deal with backlash from that video? I still deal with backlash to that video. Mm. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I definitely got categorized from that. Mm-hmm. From a you, you know? Yeah, yeah. Clack at how you smelling like toe jam in Toronto. Most niggas really don't last long for not buying a gun, but possessing a glass jar. We smoke, I'm talking on becoming in glass jars. I'm hard body homie like the frame on a fast car. And I ain't got time to slow down, cause niggas get hit. When they thinking that this shit won't go down. Y'all faggot niggas wanna step to the league. Till I bring my whole squad and you on the floor, watch it bleed. I remember like I'd get people like when the boy that would pull me over to be like i've seen your face somewhere i've seen your face somewhere i don't know where but i've seen your face on something before hmm. and i'd be like i don't know officer can i have my ticket <laughs> you know what i'm saying like, yeah no it was it was it was definitely hectic because mm. like them times it like them times like we were like like we were young right we, 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 we was just like we lived what we were really out there doing, dog. Like, yep. n- not on no, f- like not to even just toot our horn or anything like that. That's how it really was, right? So like, I remember a situation happening with me, and I like I had my shirt, and my shirt said my name, C4 on it. You know what I'm saying? I end up getting bagged. Mm. And real Toronto still never dropped them times. Wow. You know what I mean, and I'm coming in the station, and the bottom already know who I am, and they're just on something like, damn, nigga, you want the whole world to know who you are. You got your name on your shirt and shit, eh? Wow. And I'm just like, what the fuck am I really doing to myself? You know what I'm saying? So I st- you start thinking about shit, you're like, it's real out here, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You're not really realizing. They're watching. Yeah, like they're preying you like that, like they're trying to build a case or whatnot on you, you know what I mean? It's just like, fuck, dog, you're just trying to do something positive as far as music and trying to better yourself and trying to come up out of the environment you're in and they ain't having it. Yeah. end of the day, they're just doing their job. That's the way they look at it, right? So, mm. wow. you definitely got backlash for that shit. Okay, okay. And, there's, and, you, and you're saying, like, do people still point you out because of the DVD and stuff? Like, yo, yo, connection, no? <laughs> <laughs> All the time, doc. In the most randomest places, too. Mm. You know what I'm saying? People just be walking up on me and like, C4. Mm. And it's like... I got used to it, you know what I'm saying? In the beginning, it was kind of awkward, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, you grew up tending to shy away from the camera, you know what I mean? Yes. You, you tend to not take photos. You not even go to school on a photo day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how it was, you know? To me being on the camera and, like, me being, like, the front line type thing, you know what I mean? You know? Yeah. And people are bucking you on the road and you're driving and people are just, like, looking at you and you're just thinking to yourself, who the fuck is this? Who's grilling me like that? Yeah, does this nigga know me? Does this nigga have an issue with me? Yeah. Uh, what the fuck's going on right now, you know? Yeah. But then they come up to you and they're like, oh, it's Yeah, yeah, nine, nine out of ten times it's someone just coming to acknowledge you, you know, trying mm-hmm. to show you love for the music. and It's a good feeling at the end of the day, too, right? Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. It's hectic. Sometimes it's hectic, you know what I mean? Especially when you just... You're just doing your own thing. You just catch someone that's, you know what I mean, that's grilling you and someone just walks upon you and you're just thinking to yourself, like, what the fuck is this about? Is this about the music? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. I, I learned how to deal with it now, you know? Okay, okay. So you have to learn to deal with it. It's true, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, okay. Um, You used to have a lot of tunes back in the days, like, with, like, the corpse and, like, Jet Black and on them. You still work with them, man? Not to be real, you. I don't, nah, I don't fuck with those niggas. Mm. 
know what I'm saying? It's not like it's any beef thing or anything like that when I see them. Or, you know what I mean? It's just... You gotta remember, at the end of the day, I'm from Connection, right? And them niggas were from Yellowstone. Yeah, it was a one, two that was with us that was from Connection, too. But most of the men that used to squat up were from the ends, were from Connection. Were my original niggas. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? It's just... When I linked with them, we were just doing the music thing, you know what I mean? And we're, yeah. We're, you know what I'm saying? We're on road to linking up Ray Ray whatnot. But as far as, like, when we introduced ourselves, like... It was with the corpse, you know what I mean? It wasn't even supposed to be like that, too. We just did a song, and it happened to be the song that was for Rap Sheet. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then it just kept it going from there. Then everybody was like, oh, you guys are a sick duo. You guys are make a sick duo, you know what I'm saying? So we just kept rocking with it. We just put out a... We only had one mixtape at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the business never personal one, but we had a few other tracks and whatnot, but... yeah. As far as like music wise, nah, I don't, I don't fuck with those niggas like that anymore. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, I want to take a quick um, break to, you know, pay some bills. You know what I'm saying? As they say, um, you know what I actually want to do? I want to play a tune first. Okay, so play a tune. And is the speaker up? Yeah. All right. Um, run a tune. It's one of your tunes, actually. Problems. Oh. So shout out to Mercenary Films again. Yeah, 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 yeah. This for my dog, key in the cell, waiting on the bill, fam. Waiting on the bill, fam. Deliver them goods right to your door, like I was the mailman. Like mm, I was mm, the mailman. Mm. You said you want it, we'll file right now. I got it on the scale, fam. Got it on the scale, fam. Got a lifetime ban on them things, but I got it right now on the waistband. Okay. Where, where do I start? She took a <coughs> Okay, so I'm gonna give a quick shout out to Mercenary Films, um, who who produced that video or who directed that video right there, right? Um, follow up, we love hip hop Toronto and the Six List. Um, send us an IG or send us an email actually to we love hip hop Toronto at gmail.com of your best music videos, best homemade videos, whatever it is. And you can win a video shot by Mercenary Films. Yeah, free, free. Six That's drone so pilot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Six Shout out Mercenary, man. That's big, man. Yeah, man. Like, um, we want to make sure that people in the city are able to. So, go in my backpack and the front pouch. All right. So, we want to make sure that people in the city are able to get the opportunities yep. to. If they're not able to get a music video shot, then boom, man's them can handle that for you. You know what I'm saying? So, Mercenary Films and We Love Hip Hop will be making sure to be giving out a free video. So, send your homemade. Send us a video uh, though. I don't want to. It doesn't have to be homemade, but whatever. If you have a video, send us a video. Yeah. If you already have some videos, right? <coughs> it only has a few hundred views, few thousand views. You're like, yo, send that. We just want to see a visual of you. We're gonna go through. We're gonna go through a picking process, and then they're gonna perform on the six list, and then we'll and, and we'll post that, and we'll find a winner through there. All right. So hit us right. up at we love hip hop toronto at gmail.com. Make sure to label it we love hip hop slash mercenary films contest. Okay, so let's get back into it. All right. Um, so speaking of mercenary films, y'all, I see y'all have a lot of work together. How did y'all like make the connection and stuff? It's funny because he, 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 like he hit me up on a DM, right? <clears throat> and he was like, "Yo, let's work." And to be real, you fam, like, I do the music thing and whatnot, and I love it and, and Ray Ray, but like. It, it don't really pay the bills for me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, like, I'm, I'm attending to my priorities and whatnot. So, not to say I kind of looked him off, but, like, I kind of never, like, replied to him. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And then I was just... I remember exactly, like, I was sitting there and I was listening to my, to to the tracks, right? And I was like, oh, fuck, am I not shooting a video for this? Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm sleeping on my own shit. So, I just replied back to him. I'm like, yo, follow whenever you're ready. Next day, he follows. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? And one thing I like about Mercenary is, like, that nigga's on his craft. Like, he loves what he does. Like, he, he'll have your video ready the next day. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, not even on no rush thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, it looks fucked up or whatnot. It looks like you'd be like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Usually the first cut is is the final cut. Mm. Can't lie, the first one it wasn't like that with him, though. Like, I sat there and whatnot. But after that, 
it was just boom, 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 After boom, boom. You know, boom, know, you know what I'm saying? Style and stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. After yeah. us working together on the first tape, I mean the first track, he kind of figured what I like and whatnot. And I kind of figured that the way he does his shit too, yeah. right? So. It was just after that. I was just like, yeah, man, fuck weed, dog. Yeah. I mean, I don't gotta wait weeks, like sometimes months, for the video to come back, and mm. you know what I'm saying, and promote the video for that long, and it doesn't drop till Ray Ray Ray. So yeah, he just turns good, it around. Yeah, quick. yeah. It was a good look, man. Yeah. At the same time, like he knows what he's doing, man. Okay, and like it's crazy because. With this whole everything changing with the way social media is, like you, you mentioned before, like a lot of the stuff that you're putting out is in the young YouTube times or even like pre-social media. So like, how do you stay relevant in these times now? Say that, my bad, say that again. How do, you, how do you stay relevant in these times now? Like as far as the music and shit? Yeah. Because like when you drop a track, it connects to the kids. Yeah, no, for sure. 100%. It's just consistency, man. Mm. That's the, the, key. that that's that's basically what it is, man. Like you know what I mean. Like I'm not trying to say like flood, flood it like that. You you could do what you want at the end of the day, but like consistency as far as like coming good, coming good with good music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dropping videos, dropping your tapes. You know what I'm saying? Building that anticipation for your album. Mm-hmm. That kind of shit right there is what keeps you <clears throat> relevant. At the same time, social media. Yeah. 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 That's the key. That's the number one key. That's how everyone's getting on at the end of the day. Yeah. Now, now right? Yeah. People don't even have to, like, come see you or come to your show or whatever. You don't even have to be doing any of that shit no more. Yeah. You don't have to be on, like, in a sense, to get on. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. You, yeah. you know what I mean? Back then, we, 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 you, you had, had to, to do the shows. You had to do shows. You had to have tapes. Like, you had to have that kind of co-sign. Like, you know what I mean? Like... Now it's like you do it online, people see it, and the views count, and and all the likes views, and shit, and, likes. And, and 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 these big dogs have no choice but to fuck with you. Yeah, yeah. So true, people true, are gonna true. fuck with you regardless if they're fucking with you or not, right? Yeah, yeah. So you have your audience already. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying that's why most of these most of these niggas that are coming on too are going independent because they don't really need the fucking label anymore. Facts. Yeah, YouTube and all these platforms where you can stream your music. Exactly. It doesn't make sense unless it's something that you can work with and it's making sense to sign a deal. Then yeah, you don't see what these 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 kids are getting signed for, man. Like I don't even know exactly what it is, but it's like in the high millions. Oh yeah, pump just got signed for like ten. See, yeah, like that makes sense to sign with a label. Yeah, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. <laughs> I mean, and he like he has the youths them on smash. I found out about that song through like a kid. Mm. I heard the kid singing. I thought it was his song for a yeah. second. You know what I mean? I'm like, that's what you're on, dog? He's like, no, yeah. man, you don't know Lil Pump. I'm like, who, Lil Pump? who the fuck's yeah. Lil Pump? And then I, I went and listened to the song and I seen, like, watched the video. I'm like, whoa. Mm. This is what's squatting now. Yep. Yep. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, bro. You know what I mean? Even what? with the social media, right? And, like, I see, like, most of us are... Our, our promotion takes place on the gram these days, right? Yep, lots of it. Right? What did, what's the thing that you like the most and the thing that you hate the most about social media? Um, to be real, you think I, I have to say the thing I like the most is kind of like the exposure now, right? Mm. Like now you could do your thing on that platform. It feels like you're on the big stage every time you go on there. Yeah. You know, because you never know like what people are going to be attracted to when you drop your shit, right? Facts. So you might true. drop something and the next day you just blow up. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So as far as that, I would have to say like, yeah, that's the benefit of it. And all the, the negativity of it is probably like the evil eye, right? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm a big believer in that, you know what I'm saying? And like flaunting your shit. And I mean, it's cool. People want to see that. That's that's what people want to follow. But at the end of the day, like you as a person, you know the kind of struggles you go through on your own, on your own time, like on your own personal time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. you know the fuck you go through to get this kind of shit. Yeah. And like people envying you is just just like that. You could lose it. No facts. You know what I'm saying? So it's true. It's 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 more than true, my nigga. It happens all the fucking time, even from your own closest people. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and it's a lot of people see what. People only show their best times on the gram, right? Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, you would think everybody's up 
and you think everybody's happy all the time on the ground. I mean, just people out there that express their feelings too on the ground. Yeah, you know, right. they let you know where they're at. Yeah, they let you know, definitely let you know where they're at in life. Yeah, the, yeah. those people are kind of, it gets a little kind of annoying though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 100%, but I'd have to say that's the most negative part about it because when I first had my Instagram, I, my shit was private. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of people and go I, through that. Private, then they just... I had mine private, then I was like, you know what, fuck it. No, but then I thought about it. I'm like, fuck, I'm doing music, dog. That's, yeah, for, for you as a rapper, it yeah, makes you know more what I mean? sense to be I'm like, open your um, page. I might as well leave my page open just in case someone decides to want to just pre my page or whatever the may, case may be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I left it unopened, but now it's like anyone could go on that shit. Yeah. That's the pitfalls. Well, it's all about you choose what you want to post in the end of the day. Yeah, at the end That's of the day, it. that too, right? You have control. The energy you 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 kind of put out there is what you what you get back. Facts, facts. So, okay, we covered. I feel from the beginnings, we covered what's going on like in the present. What do you have coming up for the future? Right now, I'm working on this tape called Forever. Hmm. You know what I mean, I've been, I've kind of been working on it for a minute just because I, I just want to stay relevant in the sense where it's like the beats are, are what these people, what, what everyone's listening to right now. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I, I, I realize that plays a big factor in your shit too. Yeah. You know what I mean? As long as your shit could bump in the club, I mean, it don't really matter what you're rapping about now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. As far as the forever tape, I'm, I'm I'm taking my time with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I could put out tracks. That's soft for me. Yeah. Like, I could put out numerous tracks if I want to. But I'm just trying to sit there and really, like I said, man, I've been doing this for a minute too. At the end of the day, so that's a fact. The way I want people to really gravitate to this tape is like, <clears throat> this nigga could spare at the same time. Yeah, we could bump this nigga shit in the whip. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, like it's not no. Like, oh, you have to sit there and really listen to what the fuck he's saying. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, it's going to be some ride on music, some music you can, you know what I'm saying? Go to the club too, even hopefully, potentially here in the fucking club too, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'm working on that definitely. Got some features on there. A couple features I'm working on. Trying to get some big features on there. I'm not going to say no names yet, but yeah, I'm working on something like that. Nice. So, nice. um, Okay, there's a question I didn't ask before. <coughs> because you have a style because you, you're a lyric lyricist. You know what I'm saying? But you know how to pick beats that are of the time, each time that hip-hop evolves, right? So my question is, what is your influences before and then what do you fuck with now? My influences before were Mob Deep, Nas, Nori and Capone Noriega, mm-hmm. <clears throat> Tragedy Gaddafi, Iman Thug, like, like basically everything we used to listen to was like Queensbridge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like we felt like 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 the ends was Queensbridge. I can relate. You know what I mean, I that's relate. all we used to listen to a lot. I can it was relate. all yeah. it was all Queensbridge, Mob Deep, Mob Deep. War Report, CNN. Yeah, to E Money yeah. Bags, to to, to RIP E Money Bags, like, R.I.P. Yeah. E Money Bags, like Ali Vegas. Mm. Oh wow! Boom, boom, you know boom! I'm saying like like we're young youths listening to that. That, mm. that so that influenced my style. I keep it one thousand. Like as far as like the main person I like back then mm-hmm. was R.I.P. Prodigy. Okay, yes, you know what I'm R. saying? Like, prodigy. Yeah, man, that, 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 mine. that was my nigga, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I used to sit there and actually write out his rhymes just to hear, like, read it out and actually, like, listen to what the fuck he's saying, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like, that's how much I used to take the nigga in, right? Yeah. But prodigy right now, nice. what, I'm lis- what I'm fucking with right now, I'm fucking with Lil Durk. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm fucking with... Um, YFN Lucci, Lil Baby. Okay. Like, now it's kind of Atlanta wave, you know, kind of down south right now, kind of has it. Yeah. I still fuck with New York, like French Montana. <coughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Forever rocking with the locks, Jada Kiss. Bum, bum, bum. Fab. Mm-hmm. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that new Freddie and Jason is sick. That mixtape's off the chain. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, like Lloyd Banks. I fuck with. I still fuck with Lloyd Banks. He's actually one of my favorite artists, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. He's really he's sick. Banks is the bars, man. You Banks know what is saying? nice. Yeah, yeah, PLK, yeah. man. Trust I'm me. John King. Yeah, yeah. For real, for real, for real. Yo, yo, trust me, dog. Uh, we can go on forever, dog. For real, for real. You, you know man. what I'm saying? Cause like, G Unit, when it first came out. G-Unit. Yeah. <laughs> that had us on Smash, man. Yo, the, even when they came back with a, I'm a soldier boy, like, they even had it back then. Like, the, yeah, yeah. It was a little comeback time, and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm in for this. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Was it was short lived, but I was in for that. You know what I mean? Because. What they did before was so in, it was so such an impact. I was like, like yeah, man. We we had to we lived in a we lived in a nice space in hip hop, and it's good to see that we're still like you as an artist and what we're doing over here with podcasting that we're still in a good fucking space. You know what I'm saying? And I got years on you still, so you still got fucking mad time to fucking run this whole fucking scene. You know what I'm saying? Um, I already know, man. What's his name? Um, is it YFN Lucci that you mentioned? Or no, Yayo, um... <sighs> fuck. The guy, Yo, not Yo Gotti, the, the guy that he put on the other day. Oh, Moneybag? Yeah. Moneybag Yo. Okay? Mm-hmm. That's like, like, your style doesn't remind me of him, of course, right? Because you guys have two different styles. But you're in that pocket. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where, like, they're looking at respected men from that hood to come and represent. So it's not like the young buck who's like 17 that they're no. looking for. They're like, yo, this man, I want to hear from him because I know he has stories that are like, we, Definitely. you know what I mean? He's experienced it. You know what I'm saying? So facts. I want to um, wrap it up. Okay. Let the people know where to find you social media. <coughs> uh, you can find me at 400 CMH. That's 4-H-U-N-N-I-D CMH. Mm. Okay. Right now, to be real, you fam, I don't even have my Twitter popping. Like, I forgot it. That's a, see, that's the thing with social media, too. Like, yeah. there's so many of these things that so came many out. Platforms. Yeah, like, it's it's hard to keep, you know what I'm saying, balancing all of them at the same time. So, more times, like, I'll fall back on one, usually the one that's not popping like that. Mm. But really and truthfully, I should be up on all of them. But right now, you could, that's where you can find me on the gram. The best okay. place. Okay, okay, okay. And, and and the brother here, you, you got yo, this is my day one right here, man. It's yeah. from my building, from from my hands, from connection, my nigga. Be that easy, at once. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Um, Mr. Herc. Well, it's me, S S C underscore Hey Herx underscore P K at in, on Instagram. Only platform I really fuck with. Same way, I have a Twitter, but I I only tweet once a year. <laughs> Bell, yeah. let's talk Bell, later, let's whatever. Talk. So I tweet because I like to spend their money. So I'll tweet. You understand what I'm saying? But other than that, I I don't use it. But yeah, SSC underscore Hayherx underscore PK on Instagram. That's where I am. Or Hayherx if you want the protein mm. and to see the gym life. You know what I'm saying? Most of you motherfucker flipping tires and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, yes. A very, very dope conversation here on the We Love Hip Hop podcast. Yes, it was a blessed interview. Yes. Hey, shout respect. out to y'all, man. man. Y'all niggas is putting on for the city for real, though, man. Yeah, Thank you. Y'all niggas reaching out and putting on a lot of niggas, man. It's a good look, man. Thank you. Yeah, well, we're just trying to make sure that, like... <laughs> there's content, you know? There's something yeah, they know, 100%, can... 100%, man. Something yeah, man. to look forward to, you know? Something that people could look... They see, find something to find, you know? Exactly. Yeah, like, for you sure, know? man. Well, there's a lot of people in the city who are doing their thing. There's a lot of people a in the lot. city doing their thing. There's so much new music in this city every, every day. day. Yeah. Every hour. Yeah. On the hour, it seems like now. And like, like you said, with Instagram, it's like... Boom, 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 boom. So, yeah. I, I have a hard time picking the top six Toronto tracks every fucking week. It's a oh, fucking yeah. task because there's more than, than 10 to choose from of tracks that are lit, that are getting views on YouTube and stuff. Mm-hmm. You so, like to saying? the point where we may have to have a, a two list, like it's crazy, or it's like, yeah, yo, it's, or twice a week. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hint, hint, maybe uh, one of y'all companies uh, pick us up and then we do, a, we do this shit every day. So, um, for the bag <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> hint hint so um, hit me up at all my uh, oh, hit my website up first Friday aka Ricky Dread that's D-R-E-D let me get this bottle out of the way here um, 
or hit me up all my social media platforms that's friday ricky dread that's d-r-e-d make sure to hit us up on instagram as well as twitter that's we love hip-hop toronto um i'm not even going to talk about the followers trying to get it to a certain level because i thank you to the followers who who've been keeping us going every and day and the subscribers and the subscribers on youtube and the people that shout us out in the streets who come yeah. across them you know what i'm saying it's all love respect thank you yeah man hashtag hoodie gang yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm saying but yes um it's the world's most smoked out podcast we love hip-hop yeah thank you for our guests for coming through yeah, you know, man.